I'm out here in Southern California and I want to introduce you to a really cool special guest. His name's Yan, aka King Credit. He's blown up on TikTok, Instagram, and he knows how to leverage everything from credit card points to travel hacking. Well, we just launched off in ludicrous plus mode. We're here with King Credit today, cruising around. What's happening? Uh, number one, I just want to see and ask you, Yan, what is it exactly that you do? Uh, so my main business is uh, credit. I have multiple businesses in e-com, real estate, and online education. Uh, better known as King Credit on Instagram and uh, social media. And I actually started out in the business because I got myself into $82,000 worth of credit card debt trying to become an entrepreneur, coming out of college, had two degrees, but could not get a job, so I decided to go full on in entrepreneurship. I had no money, but I had a bunch of credit cards. I didn't know how to use them. <laughs> no, nobody teaches credit in school, college, and that's because with your lack of knowledge, the schools, governments, and banks make the most money. If you knew how credit, taxes, and insurance worked, the profits for them would be a lot less, so they make sure to not teach that in school. So. I ended up with $82,000 with the credit card debt, trying to do all these businesses. And that actually forced me to learn credit. It forced me to go and get a sales job and forced me to understand how a business is run. I got the sales job against my will. I was like, I wanted to be a full <laughs> entrepreneur and I thought that was the way to go. I was actually just losing money, losing money. I didn't have any skills. I didn't know how businesses run. Having your back against the wall, not really having any other choices, and that's what really gets you in that mode, right? To just fight through whatever it takes to get there. I mean, 82 grand in yeah. debt. What was it that was your first sign of like success? Getting out of debt and getting my credit on point. That was like really the first thing because when I started making some income, I was also focusing on learning credit. And I was paying the banks when I was at $82,000 worth of debt, 4,000 in interest. I didn't know how credit worked. To top it off, I was making $2,000 before I got my job. Like imagine 22 years old, you're at $82,000 worth of debt. You owe the banks 4,000 a month just to keep the debt at the same place. Like that was, that was my personal rock bottom, but luckily it forced me to kind of realize the things that I needed to do. Getting that sales job, I started making money about three months in. I couldn't I couldn't close a deal to save my life for three months. I'm like, I gotta make this work. So I spent 18 hours a day, every single day. I'm like, I'm gonna get this first deal. And the first deal was a $5,000 commission three months in when I was like almost about to give up thinking it was not gonna work. I was trying to just simply be the best salesperson at that company. It wasn't about the money. It was about being the best salesperson at that company and bringing the company more revenue so I can get closer to the founders and understand how they run the business, how they do the marketing, how they do the sales, everything that I could later use when I start my own business. The rest of the time I had during the day, I was learning credit. I was learning how I could stop paying these interest rates, how I can fix my credit because I had collections, I had late payments. I had every negative remark you could possibly think of on a credit report. And I was learning credit repair first. I was getting sued. I was getting everything wrong with your credit that can be. So in six months, the income was a big deal that like really helped me get out of my debt. But a lot of my accounts were already in collections, meaning that if they're in collections, they've already been sold off from the original creditor. And it's not like you can just pay them off and have everything be fine. No, that takes credit repair and that takes some time, but you don't have to wait the seven years for a collection to fall off of your report. That's the first thing that I learned. And in about six months, after learning everything about credit repair, everything about credit, um, I was worth zero dollars, meaning I had no debt, and my credit went from a 490, which is what it was when I had $82,000 worth of debt, to a 750 or 760. And that was probably one of the best days of my life at that time because I knew the potential going forward. I had income coming in, I was now very decent at sales, and I understood how credit works. And that's where things really, really started taking off. Um, it's raining here, actually, first time raining here in the wrapped Tesla, so let's see how the Chrome uh, wow. turns out after this. Yeah, I might have brought a little Seattle rain. I'm heading back to Seattle today, and it's been snowing out there, but Southern California has been a blast. We're gonna head back to Yan's spot, and yeah, you can see what the results have gotten him 
from just putting his nose to the grindstone and just hammering out this kind of work for how, how many years have you been doing this now? I've been doing this, uh, so I'm 26 right now. I really started making money when I was about 24, so like really only two years. And the massive difference that six months can make is absolutely insane. Like you guys will see the house that I'm living in right now and the car that I'm driving right now. Uh, life is good, but three, four years ago, the place I was living at, it was like the size of my guest house right now and I was living in there with about six people. <laughs> the changes that six months can bring is absolutely insane. 2019, I took 140 flights. I traveled to 25 countries, all while doing over seven figures in my businesses. And two years prior, I was in $82,000 worth of debt. My credit was at a 490. I had no idea where to go. I have two college degrees that I paid over 100,000 for. And I'm, I can't get a job. So imagine, imagine the place I'm in. I have no direction. I have no sense of what my career is gonna be. But two years later, if I told myself, if I looked into the future and saw what the reality was, I would not believe it. I would not believe it. Also, were there any kind of mentors that helped you along the way? Or was it just you watching YouTube videos? Or where'd you get your information? Did you get into courses? Or how, how'd you go about all that? Like in terms of information on how I'm gonna run my business on social media, for example, deeper information about credit or finance or really anything that I'm using right now. I spent all the money that I made from my sales job for about three months. I stayed broke for like three or four months. And I spent all of it on mentorship calls, on events, on courses, everything that I could possibly invest into, I did. But the main thing I did was I kept a focus. I didn't just do 20 things at once that are in different places. Uh, for me personally, it was on credit. I had a focus in e-com, real estate, which all those businesses really stem from one thing, which is credit. Credit allows you to go and fund those kind of businesses. Of course, you need to have an understanding of how those businesses work. But in my case, I found partners from that sales job, which were professionals at uh, real estate. They were doing real estate flips. And their problem was funding. They could not get proper funding for the deals. But what I learned is I could go and borrow 0% cash from the bank, liquidate it into cash, and use that to go fund said real estate deals. I was giving them the money for a lot less than the banks were giving it to them. So this is how I started making money. Uh, leveraging credit from the start. About six months in, I was doing the same thing to fund multiple ventures, um, primarily in real estate, without even touching the real estate. I was basically working as a bank just with the knowledge I have about credit. And I started making nearly about the same money as I did with uh, my sales job, just leveraging credit. About three months later, I quit my sales job. And I realized it is finally time, I'm ready to go start my businesses and go on my own. <laughs> that was a massive, massive turning point for me. Massive. I went back to traveling. Um, I didn't mention this, but I first started everything with travel hacking. That's um, leveraging credit card points, leveraging rewards to get free flights, free hotels. Basically travel for free. I started that when I was 18. And that's the reason why I had so many credit cards when I was about 22. And part of the reason why I got into all the debt because I had available credit. Uh, because the points, uh, the statuses, the rewards, you need a bunch of credit cards to get started with that. And so when I quit the sales job, I went back to doing that. So not only was I making money now, not only was I operating businesses that I didn't have to trade my time for anymore, nor did I have to be uh, in one place to operate those businesses, I was not paying for the travel. So I started traveling again. I was getting the free flights. I was not paying for the hotels. And I was still making a lot of money. And all the money went back into myself, into the business, and helped me make even more revenue. And once you figure that out, <laughs> shit really starts to scale up. You can start making moves. You can start making moves. You start getting an understanding of what freedom actually feels like. And I got a taste of that when I was 18 or 19, travel hacking. Because mm -hmm. even though I had no money, travel hacking allowed me to go and get free flights and free hotels. And I was like, on a first class flight to Dubai, looking like a billionaire, <laughs> at 21 years old, uh, skipping my classes in college. <laughs> Little did anybody know I had absolutely no money, even though I was flying on a $20,000 first class flight to Dubai. I didn't, couldn't spend any money in Dubai, but I was going to Dubai. 
So. Wow, holy crap. So it all stemmed from kind of his focus in the beginning and that's what really you know hits the point home with me. That's exactly what I've done in my business, not jump into every little thing in the beginning. You can see which businesses you like and what you're gonna resonate with, but when you find something, really stick with it for at least six months or a year just so you can see if it's something that you wanna do. Anyone that sees the latest flash in the pan and switches all the time and is just trying to catch on with the latest trend is you know usually gonna die out kind of soon but yep. we're pulling up to the house here um so we're gonna get a little view here and the king credit compound is looking massive um it's a good spot and you have uh one other roommate too right uh yeah so we have uh two people that live in this house it's like a i think it's a 12 bedroom house we got three people that live here. It's basically just an entrepreneur, massive boiler room. Okay, we're pulling up to it right now. So this is the back of the house. Been here for about a year. I went literally from that hut that I was living in San Francisco. Uh, <laughs> no, I had I had an okay house for like six months, but I went from that to this place. As soon as I really started making, you know, very decent money. Uh, I certainly wouldn't recommend it if you're not making decent money. Mm -hmm. Any expenses like this car. Uh, anything that I buy, I try to not spend any money whatsoever. This Tesla, it's free. <laughs> this Tesla is free <laughs> because I understand one, how to leverage credit. Two, there's always some kind of loopholes, always some kind of trick you can do uh, with getting the actual car, with taxes. Once you guys uh, see the outside of the car, it'll have my full logo on the side of it. And that's a massive tax write-off, particularly because the vehicle is also 6,000 pounds. And this is the kind of mindset I have about everything, about uh, the house. This is really an investment because I'm here with entrepreneurs that are bringing me up. I would not be making this much money without these people here if I was just solo. And so this is how I think about everything. This is how I started thinking about um, everything two years ago, about spending my money on investments for courses, events, whatever it is. It pays off. Even if two, three things don't pay off, your energy going towards that direction will eventually somehow pay off, even if it's not directly right now. Mm -hmm. Facts. Let's hop out of the car and uh, you don't get... need to do that. <laughs> ah, you just press the door button and then you don't need to use no doorknobs anymore. Here, let's try. Let's try that one more time. Let's... So let's see. We're gonna we're gonna press this whole passenger button. Yep. Ding, and the door opens for me because Elon Musk is a wizard. He's a wizard. So yeah, let's hop out and just kind of cruise around the compound a little more, kind of showing you what we're doing out here. So let me pull this in really quick because I don't want the rain to fuck up. Okay, the yeah, yeah. Go ahead, pull it in there. Uh, it was really cool. One of my buddies, Brian Trask. It's funny how networking, you know, pans out. One of my buddies, he uh, introduced me to this guy just online and said we could we should connect and do an IG live. Uh, talking about how you can leverage credit to help your Amazon FBA business and e-commerce in general. So next thing I knew, I was hanging out with King Credit, you know, came out here actually to help a few students who got my high ticket Amazon Seller Pro Elite course, which allows me to fly out for five days to wherever you're at in the world and set you up an entire store, follow you through until you have a active product live on Amazon and everything's good like that. So it was crazy. I hit up King Credit and was able to, you know, see if we could maybe get a YouTube video going. And next thing I knew, I was working out with him in the gym. So this is the third time we've been linking up here. And uh, yeah, he's just pulling off into the garage there. It's crazy, guys. Uh, when you start finding ways to make this kind of money for yourself passively, Next thing you know, you're around more people that do those same things. Just like he was saying, once you start hanging out with those people, it just starts bringing you up in general. So yeah, man, let's uh, see what else is going on out here. It's it's What's raining, up? bro. It's raining in Cali. Bro, it's the first time it's raining Cali in like months. You brought it here. I brought it here. <laughs> Sometimes we gotta, you know, clean the smog. I like the out. rain. I like the rain, honestly. Yeah. So it's a good. It's a good change. But here's the backyard. When I said it was an investment, the reason why we got this place first is to throw an event. We saw the stage, we're like, dude, this is a perfect place to bring people, uh, do an event. Here's what it means to be an entrepreneur. We had an event happening on, I think it was like the first of November or something last year. 
and we had a venue at the SLS hotel, which was the same day. It was good, but for some reason, the last minute, it wasn't working. We had an event happening in four hours and we had no venue. However, we had a plan to get this house in a week. I'm like, uh, we gotta get this house in like two hours. <laughs> we still gave everybody the address and we're like, we're gonna make this happen. Even if we don't have this house, we're just gonna break into this place and just hold an event here. <laughs> so we, we call up the guy and we're like, yeah, we need the house today, today. He's like, it's, it's not happening. There's like no way. I'm like, what, whatever it takes, we'll pay you. So we paid him a sum of money. The guy pulled up, we got the keys. <laughs> there was already a hundred people in front of the house when we pulled up. Uh, we had somebody bring in chairs and then we had this event. Uh, it was great and it worked out. So that's what it means to be an entrepreneur, last minute problem solving. And that event led you to make all your money back and even more on top of it. Oh, always, that's always how it is. Like, <laughs> even, even if it's not long run, long term, it always works out. Yeah, so if you don't mind, show us uh, yeah. maybe the, the entrance of the spot and all his info linked down below and you guys can reach out to him. Credit allows you to go fund businesses. It allows you to save on interest couple hundred thousand dollars over the course of a lifetime that's what the average american pays with subpar credit or interest over a lifetime a couple hundred thousand dollars and then travel hacking is a bonus i started early before anything uh a cash flow related and that was a mistake i should have done the cash flow the leveraging for businesses and then the travel hacking so then you can go spend all that money when you're in dubai yeah so as you guys can <laughs> see um i have no furniture and uh, the reason for that is because all we do is literally work. That's all we do. I don't sit down, I don't do anything. I have, uh, we have a chef and our meals are cooked. I just eat them and work, eat them and work, that's it. I haven't taken a day off in literally probably three years. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. And yeah, I mean, sometimes when I stop working for a while, I feel bad. It's like, I, I wanna be, continuously pushing forward and when I take breaks I'm like man it's time to hit the grindstone again I'm not stopping until even when I get a place like this with the double spiral staircases I'm, I'm still not stopping I've always wanted to have that problem like which staircase do I go up today <laughs> <laughs> so that was a big goal wow this is just a really surreal experience being able to meet you man like Absolutely. i know we're probably gonna have many other times in the maybe even this summer or whatever if you have another event yeah you know maybe i'll try and make my way out here again any last tips or just info in general for people to take home with them look man uh how the education system is set up it's not how it really is anything that you're gonna really need to learn in the real world you got to do on your own. No one's going to give you a handout. No one's going to give you, you know, stimulus, whatever check that's going to change your life. Not a president, nobody. You got to do it yourself. And everything you got to learn, you got to learn through experience mm -hmm. or somebody else's experience, somebody else's mistakes. That's how you should really do it. And that's why, you know, that's what Luke's doing. That's what I'm doing. I'm teaching credit. He's teaching uh, e-commerce, specifically Amazon. Mm -hmm. So those are the things that you can focus on really change your life with them and understand that the regular education system, it's not gonna teach you because they program you, they program the majority of people to make sure they profit as much as they possibly can. The majority of the profits are coming from insurance, taxes, and interest on the debt, on the trillions and trillions worth of debt. Is that taught in school, even though we use it on a daily basis? No. That's why it's not time. Damn, that's a great way to end it. Honestly, I just did a little live Zoom call with a bunch of people from my, my college, Wazoo, Washington State University. And when I started telling them about what I'm doing with Amazon FBA e-commerce, they're like, hey, we wish we had classes that talked about this stuff. There's oh, nothing yeah. like it. Yeah. They're just producing people to become more cogs in the wheel of society to keep them below a certain level of success. And yeah, you I mean, it's, it's, a good, uh, it's a good business. It's a good business for them. <laughs> <laughs> like I want to be in that business too. It's a lot of money produced, but for the you know majority of people, they just don't understand. They're in that you know hamster wheel. They don't understand. They think that governments are out to help them. School and education systems are out there to help them. No, it's a business. It's a business to create as much cash flow as possible with an illusion that they are helping you. That's not the case. That's not the case. 
And uh, where's the best place that we can find you? I know you have TikTok, Instagram, or... Instagram's the best spot. It's at Key Credit on Instagram. Uh, I'm all over, like I'm on TikTok, but Instagram is the best place that you can reach out to me via DM. That's where you'll see daily content about credit, about travel hacking, finance, whatever. If you guys wanna learn like really advanced stuff, um, go on Instagram, you'll see exactly where to find it. Awesome, all right guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Boom, peace. Let's go.